Welcome back to Kiwi Tech, and today I have another ROM review for you. This is Pac-Man ROM. Let's dive into it and have a look. Okay, so this is the open source project, which means it's not running TouchWiz, no Samsung features are, are available, because it doesn't have any of them on it. Um, so let's have a look at the phone, and straight away we can see there's two panels, left and right. Uh, this is Paranoid Android, which is Pac-Man ROM. This is by XDA forum member, Gararic. Now, this is probably one of the most highly customizable ROMs you can have on a device. And as you can see, there's left and right panel there, and with on the left panel, we have the menu system, and on the right panel we have one step on that system. So if I click on users, the right hand panel shows us one step beyond that level. Now, you can see themes, launcher, the lock system, hybrid, which means we can change the device's UI uh, and the DPI. So it'll change it from our current stock or the recommended UI, which changes it, which gives it a bit more um, pixels per inch. But it also will change the way our status bar is usually on the top. As you can see, top right corner, I've got the clock and stuff. Um, it'll be on the bottom. So... If you want to change that, you know, get into that setting. Uh, we have ROM controls, we have system, um, permissions, super user, performance, and under performance, that is basically CPU settings and built into the ROM. And, well, basically that's it. Um, the left little button you can see, it pulls up the same thing, but in a window format, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's sort of like that old Facebook messenger thing. Um, uh, same system settings, same pull down taskbar. We can see we can change the Tribuke, which is the launcher of the Android open source project. And all apps work, everything, all the widgets. Uh, the only thing that doesn't is the camera still. Um, it does work slightly more. I think they've obviously worked on a little bit. But there are two predominant people making ROMs. There's three ROMs available. Uh, there's two users that are working pretty hard out to get everything working and get it sorted and they're doing an awesome job. So stay tuned, I will put a link to the forum of this particular ROM in the thread and check it out. Uh, favorite it again, like you did the last one, and keep watching because if you're a fan of open source project ROMs, this is definitely one you want to keep a look out for. One more thing I think it's important to note is that the kernel with Google-based ROMs don't have NTFS or XFAT support, so you've only got FAT32 on your external SD card. So this has been KiwiTech, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.